Today we're going to do a video about how to help a ferret that has been poisoned. Some causes of ferret poisoning can include household chemicals that you use for cleaning or other detergents, poisonous plants or plant intoxication which can be from common household plants, antifreeze, petroleum products such as motor oil, rat poison or bug bait, drugs, and snake and spider bites. Some signs of a ferret being poisoned include the, the ferret's inability to breathe, salivating, pawing at the mouth, distress, sudden weakness or unconsciousness, and convulsions or seizures. The best thing to do is to try to determine what could have caused the ferret to be poisoned in the first place. Then immediately call your vet. For some of these things, there are antidotes and things that vets can do. Tell your vet what it could have been so that he can prepare for you. Then wrap your ferret in a blanket to keep it warm and rush it to the vet. In some cases, these type of accidents can't be prevented. For example, if it's a snake bite or spider bite. However, there are certain things that you can do to help prevent a poisoning from happening with some of the other causes. Make sure again ferret proof your home. This is really really important. Ferret proof your home, go through everything there is, get any chemicals away from your ferret and make sure that it can't access them. Not only ferret proof your home once when you first get your ferrets, but keep doing so throughout the whole of your ferret's life. Supervise your ferret during playtime. Make sure that you also educate any house guests on not leaving things lying around and picking things up and putting them away after they've used them. And also keeping an eye out on any other dangers. I hope this video can help keep your ferret safe from being poisoned in the future. For tomorrow's video, I'd like to talk about whether or not you should worry if your ferret gets hiccups. I know Bear gets hiccups a lot, but should I be worried? Should you be worried if your ferret gets hiccups? Let's discuss this on the Ferret World Facebook page and in the comments section below. Also don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We have a new video every day for the month of May for, health, for Ferret Health and Wellness Month. So it's very exciting and we're learning lots so far. And also don't forget to subscribe to the Ferret World newsletter, which can be found on the homepage of my website because I'm doing a launch of an ebook at the end of the month and everyone gets a copy for free. So be sure to get yours and subscribe to the newsletter. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.